hey guys welcome back so guys we are continuing our pos system so now guys in this video we are going to see about the analytics part okay so basically how many products you have how many categories you have how many customer is there and all about your creating orders so pending order today order so we are going to see that part okay so let's move on to this index.php page guys so let's move let me close everything and go inside my admin folder and move to index.php perfect so we are here and yep let me remove this we do not require okay remove this complete row so we don't want any mess now let me do it from scratch so just create the row guys create one column md12 and paste this data here and then again start with the column md3 so column md3 where add a margin bottom 3 start a simple card design card dot card hyphen body where inside this card body p hyphen 3 or paragraph add a class here text hyphen sm margin bottom 0 text capitalize font weight hyphen bold okay and this will be your total category and then a h5 tag where add a class about font weight hyphen bold margin bottom zero and here you have to echo your let's create one function like get count so what will be our total count of category so, and mention the table name that is categories okay so now guys let us copy this function name and go inside our function.php so let's move inside the config go to your function.php file and create a simple function so create a function named get count open and close start with the global and give the connection here and create a table equal to where use a validate function to validate the table name so table name so where is this table name you are getting from the parameter so we are sending here okay so this is my table name which goes into the function.php and validates that now let's use a query equal to type the query select star from the table name dollar table okay and now let's run this query query underscore run equal to mysqli underscore query function so where you get your database connection and then your query and now guys need to check whether this executed query is true or false else just return like something went wrong in the query something went wrong if it's true then get the total count equal to mysqli number of rows so which helps to count your executed query and now you can return this dollar total count semicolon that's it guys so now let us save and get back here give a semicolon and now let's move and see the output refresh here perfect so here you see you have two categories let me view the categories so here you see that we have two categories in our uh, table so those data are shown on our dashboard that is two category we have okay so yep here i have written few different code guys this is like we don't require here and we are using bootstrap 5 so you have to add font weight hyphen bold okay and now guys you need to copy this same code and paste for all other fields so let me add and tell here like this is my total products so just paste your products table name and then you go with your total admins how many admin or customer you have so let me just see in my database we have admins table let me copy this table name admins paste it next is your customers customers what is the table name customers 
let's copy paste here and now let's see the output so refresh perfect so you have all the details and now guys let us check with the order data like how many orders i have got today order total orders so for that you can just add this codes let me create one column md12 h5 tag mention orders and column md3 give a margin bottom margin bottom 3 add for this also we have missed it and now let's begin with the same card design let me copy this and paste here so we have this card and let me give a horizontal row so it will be a different row and now guys here let's tell today orders okay and here now guys we are not going to use this code instead we are going to type manually because we have to get only the today order records so for that you can just open php close php create a variable called today date equal to date function where mention the format year month and date done and now let's tell orders i mean today orders equal to select star from orders where order underscore date equal to single quotes you have to get the order date so let's paste that date here and now let's execute it so let me directly execute the query here itself use mysqli underscore query function get the database connection and then your query perfect so we have done with it and now whatever results come here you need to check if your order is true i mean query is true then come in else you can just echo something went wrong okay and if the query is true check whether it has some record or not so that can be done using masculine number of rows function and your order today orders which is should be greater than zero total count equal to masculine number of rows function and count your today orders i mean yeah today orders echo this total count of orders let me create total count orders and if it is not more than zero just echo directly zero here that's it guys you can print as a string now let's save and see the output so yep refresh so on this order today order is zero so let me just create one new order for today data let's add this okay cash payment okay proceed to place so here we have let's save done close so our order is saved that is today orders here you see 18th october let's go on the dashboard and you'll be finding one order perfect so now guys let us get all the total orders so for that you can just copy the above query let me copy this complete column md3 and paste below here and just tell total orders that's it let's save and refresh perfect so here you see total five orders we have till now perfect done so guys if you want to design this card you can just add the background also so there's nothing much you have to add few like background primary let me copy and paste here for the uh, warning so same way you can just go adding on until info so let me show you the output so it just changes and if you want make it the text to white and something else okay so guys we have successfully done with the analytics part and in this video that's it thank you for watching this video guys please subscribe like and share